Oh, good evening everyone. It's uh, just gone seven o'clock on Sunday the 6th of February. I'm just up at the barn. Just actually about to go and do some work in the, what was the turnip paddocks. Gonna just run over them with the rototiller. Um, but just show you what's been going on. We've got the uh, next lot of fruit here. We've got, I think, like 26 ton or something like that. I'd have to have a look. Uh, ripped one of the bags when I was pulling the forks out of the, the one above. When I was pulling the forks out of that one, it got hooked on the... There's a nut on the bottom of those adjustable pallet forks that stops the fork sliding off. And yeah, got hooked on it. <laughs> Tore it out, so I've got to shovel that one up when I spread it. I've got the grass seed back there for the turnips. Got base. Got enough for five hectares. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any more, but I may do some of the runoff. There are three of our main crop paddocks down there have come up real bad with uh, summer grass, so... I was thinking last year we drilled base into them, but I was thinking I might just do um, some annual, just so it grows well, but I'm not sure. We'll just play that one by ear. And then we've got the um, Messy Ferguson 35 here, which needs a birthday. Actually needs a new clutch. It's got a few oil leaks. The fuel system needs cleaning out. It's blocked up again. For, I think it's got the diesel bug. So it's sitting in here for, it's a one day. and going to get the bonnet painted maybe do the the um you know the motor so yeah it'd be cool to do it really does need doing it's um in, in need of some love and attention so uh yeah we're gonna go work up some of this paddock and we'll have a talk while we're doing it it's looking really good here at the moment we've got a little bit of grass ahead of us because we had that sort of over 200 mils, I can't remember when it was, a few weeks back, but we have grown quite a bit of grass and it's pretty good quality grass, so um, the cows have lifted in production a little bit, so we're nearly doing one milk solid, so uh, yeah that's really good, but you can you can see we've really greened up, yesterday, just Saturday, I was riding and we we're at Matatoki and uh, it's a lot browner over that way and that's just over the hill really just straight across there um, yeah and I was talking to the truck driver that dropped off this fert and he said they come from uh, Waho, Wahoo I think um, over Matter Matter way and it's uh, he said it was pretty bad over there pretty dry so yeah we're looking pretty good I'm uh, quite surprised but yeah, even though we're green like this, we could actually do with a bit more rain just to keep it going. Uh, especially when we get that food on, we want a bit of moisture to just, yeah, get it going. So, all right, let's get on with it. working the paddock up again is because we can't get glycopate and I missed this strip right here and the other paddock uh, I did one one third of it maybe so the other third is actually growing you know weeds summer summer grass weeds so I've got to go over there once I've done this paddock and uh, do that one I'm not sure if we'll get there tonight but um, yeah there's a big shortage of glycopate or Roundup, you know, for spraying out, so um, which just means we're going to end up working it up a bit more to um, turn those weeds over so they die. So, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I, I would like to spray it out, just so you know the weeds are gone. And also the disc that we use, I won't use it again probably, it left ruts because you couldn't lift it out of the ground so when you turned around you ended up 
because you always turn around at one end of the same spot really so you ended up leaving these ruts and now the paddock these paddocks were nice and flat for silage now they've got these spots where i've been turning around with the disc so um i've got to try and smooth those out to go on as well as uh, obviously drilling grass some more spraying so yeah I'm happy with it it's been a good tractor the only thing I wish it had cab suspension that's one thing I wish it had cab suspension it doesn't have cab suspension this one it's got front suspension, uh, but that's it. So I'm just looking at uh, the email from the fertilizer rep, and we've got actually got 31 ton. Um, yeah, so there's quite a bit. There's actually a small error. We've got slightly too many hectares. We didn't see it when it was ordering. We're still going to use them, we've just got a little bit extra fur that we'll use up. So it's not cheap, fertilizer has gone up ridiculously. Just for this lot that we're putting on this application, there's 26,000 and I'm sure there's farmers putting on, you know, it's costing more than that, but that's still a lot for a little farm like us. I got the second paddock done. I'll probably go over them again, just uh, turn any little weeds over and then I'll go over them again. I'd already been over that weedy section once where the grass was growing uh, almost a week ago. And um, yeah, I've just been over it again, so I'll probably go around once more, but I've got to go and do that other paddock before I do that. are going well well they are going well but just taking a bit longer than what we thought um, so we should be getting onto those beams getting the beams up on the ceiling later this week maybe uh, and we've got we've got two wind oh we've got one window and a door in tomorrow we're gonna be pulling the chimney down and putting a window in there so yeah it is happening it's just uh, taking a bit longer the kitchen is probably cut out, I'd imagine. I've been talking to Zane about it already. So, yeah, he's probably ready to put it in. Well, it looks like the weather's changing a little bit. Hopefully, uh, we get a bit of rain. There is a chance of rain tomorrow. Tomorrow, which is Monday, 50% chance of rain. Tuesday, 60. Uh, a couple of days ago, when I was looking at the weather forecast, it was showing more chance of rain, so it's slowly dropping off so that's a pretty good sign it's probably not going to come to much but um yeah we're grateful for what we get so just a bit of uh gray cloud hanging around there but it is a nice evening very nice evening anyways that'll be it for uh this video i'm going to head back catch up with suzanne so we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm see ya <laughs>